Treatment of lung cancer depends on the stages. One surgery, second one chemotherapy or radiation therapy, depending on the stages. So, when a person with they require uh, chemotherapy or radiation therapy, depending on the site and size of the lesion, so then we will decide what type of chemotherapy is required. So, when you come to chemotherapy, uh, there are latest advances where we give medications where the patient can take the medicine at home. So, these are the latest advances we do uh, in a uh, different tissues we do some genetic test or some receptor analysis so when the receptor analysis comes positive so they no, don't need to take iv chemotherapies they can take uh, what you call oral uh, tablets in the form of chemotherapy they can take at the comfort of their home and they can have a better uh, survival period so these are the some of the uh, uh, breakthroughs what we have come across then another important thing which you have seen uh, in latest advances is immunotherapy in a person with some some forms of lung cancer not all uh, lung cancers are uh, treatable with immunotherapy some some forms of uh, lung cancer they come up with uh, immunotherapy they have got better survival rate and better quality of life uh, they are in uh, stage 1 uh, tumor if the person is not a candidate for surgery so then we can do what we call radio stereotactic radiation therapy where we can uh, do a radiation to the single uh, lesion where it is and it can they can get cured without even doing a surgery so because surgery is a morbid condition where we where the patient has to undergo a uh, lot of stress because of surgery and uh, recovery phases will be there so if the patient is not a candidate for surgery they can do this radiation therapy to the single uh, lesion and they can get cured when you diagnose a patient with uh, stage 4 lung cancer we should talk to the patient about the disease and more important thing is we should also talk to them about palliative care and end of life care so this topic is not so much discussed uh, in our uh, setup in indian setup uh, but this is very important so that we are going to uh, train the patient and train the attend uh, patient attenders about what is the uh, survival rate what is the plan what is the palliative treatment uh, options available and what is the end of life care in a person with stage 4 disease and they come with lot of breathlessness and when you see that patient may not make it in her or him on a ventilator you are not going to serve the purpose so we should talk to them about end of life care and we should counsel them in that way and we should give comfort care to the patient that is more important in the last stages of their life i have got a 86 year old female who was diagnosed with stage 4 lung cancer it was an adenocarcinoma it's a form of uh, one, one type of lung cancer and her receptors were positive and she was on uh, oral therapy for almost 10 years uh, and without any symptoms without any uh, trouble and uh, last i saw her, her was on uh, last month uh, when she came with cough but that's because of upper respiratory tract infection if the patient is in stage 4 stage 3 disease it is not a curable but when you put them in rehabilitation uh, in a lung pulmonary rehabilitation they will feel better with respect to the symptoms and uh, with respect to uh, their lifestyle quality of life so improving the quality of life is very important uh, because they are the one su suffering uh, group of uh, patients so if you talk to them and improve their quality of life if they, if they can do their routine day-to-day -day activities they will feel much better Thank you.